All right, welcome back. Um, we've got two fine um, ladies here. Um, I'll have you introduce yourself. Um, Adna, I'm Jasmine. Okay, Adna and Jasmine. Um, today we were learning about streak. So in the past video we learned about, what was the first one? Color, was that the color? Yeah, one? it was the color. Okay, and then we just learned about hardness. So now streak. So you'll see a lot of the same minerals um, kind of coming along. Um, we keep bringing things up from before, so any of them look like they're metallic luster? Yes. Okay, kind of some shiny. So the metallic ones might have a certain streak. And then non-metallic ones, can you see where some of those might be? Like these okay, um, they might have a different streak as well. Um, these right here, you said um, non-metallic. Um, you thought they uh, like dull and earthy kind of look like dirt clouds. But let me have each of you try these because sometimes minerals surprise us, and that's kind of exciting. Oh my god! Oh wow! Drag <laughs> a streak all the way across. Drag it all the way across. Okay. Now I'm going to give you two other ones. So, would you call those metallic? Oh my god, these are beautiful. Yeah. Okay, now kind of um, <laughs> brush or tap it. And once the little powder gets off there, oh, um, pretty. like if you look at this one right here, both of those streaks are kind of rusty over here. So these two minerals right here are actually the same mineral. And now that you say that, would you call both of these... Um, Metal? Um, yeah, metal, and this one I wouldn't call dull and earthy, but instead, what happens when you leave your bike chain out, like on your like bike? It's rusty. Aha, so sometimes metals can disguise themselves and look like dull and earthy, but they're really um, actually metallic. They just have an iron oxide or they're oxidized on the surface. So the, the metal ones are going to tend to have a, a darker streak, and let's put these guys off to the side, and why don't you try um, a non-metallic? with, uh, you know, pick any non-metallic you think which would be good. Here, why don't you try these two? Right. No, just no. Whoa, wait a minute. Sorry. What color were those rock, or minerals? Purple. Purple and? Yellow. Okay, now take a clean finger, a nice one. You know, I say <laughs> nice one because you're going to look at it and you're going to show your partner. So show your partner. It's what color? It's white. White. So is it possible the streak of the mineral could be different than the actual color of the mineral? Yeah. 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 So that's one of the most diagnostic characteristics we're going to have on some of these minerals. Because if you have a mineral that has a different color streak than the actual mineral, that's going to help you identify it. And so streak is an extremely useful tool to try to figure out what mineral is what. Like this one right here, there's um, most minerals that are silver, like you take that one and you take this one, rub that silver mineral on the streak plate. Oh, and oh as God. you would expect, what color? Silver. Silver. But then when we had this mineral and you used it on the streak plate, it actually wasn't silver, it was like that, that reddish kind of color. Yeah. So some minerals give the same color streak as their, as their general color, and some, like this one, gives a different color streak. Um, cool. What uh, You would like the yellow one earlier. Why don't you grab the Big Bird Yellow? It's one of my favorite kind of minerals. It's one of the only ones that's, it's the only one I know that's Big Bird Yellow. Mm, it's breaking. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, sometimes they're really brittle and they break, so again, uh, pick a finger that's nice and clean and um, put, drag it across the surface, show your table mate. What color? It's yellow. Yep. So that's how you can tell the color of a light colored streak on a streak plate because it's really difficult to tell yellow versus white or something like that. Um, if we get, let's grab new streak plates here. Try this white mineral. Now a white mineral on a white streak plate, would that be hard to see? Mm, not on this one. Not on this mm -hmm. one. I can see it. I can see that one. Okay, but again, the best way is to take your finger and wipe it across the surface. Oh my goodness, I hardly have any fingers. Okay, so, so what are you actually picking up with your finger? You're picking up the what? The powder of the mineral? The yeah, particles. Are yeah, it's the powder of the, it's the color, you're looking at the color of the powder of the mineral when you rub it on a really hard streak plate. We learned in the last um, segment that the streak plate was 6.5. So 
That's what streak is. Streak is the color of the mineral, the color of the powder of the mineral that's left behind when you drag it across the streak plate. So we just defined what streak was without even having to look in the book. It's, what is it? It's the color of the what? The mineral? Yeah. The color of the... The powder. The powder of the mineral when you drag it on the plate. Now what happens if you have a really hard mineral? Besides a really neat sound. Nothing. Nothing. And if you were to pull your finger across it, um, you really, it's probably a little dirty from before, yeah. so flip it over, and if you pull it across it, it makes a nasty sound, and really there is no color. No. If it's hard enough, you actually can feel a groove maybe in the streak plate itself. So the streaks we had so far were, what would you call this one? Rusty. Kind of rusty color, reddish. Yeah. Um, we had, what? It was like a blacker. A black or a silverish. Yeah. Um, we had uh, the we had white white. Mm -hmm. Yes. We and the big bird yellow one was what color? It was yellow. It was kind of a yellow. Um, <laughs> what do you think these? These are metallic. What do you think those are going to give you? Um, maybe gold. Kind of gold. Some give some it gold a shot. Stuff? Aha, oh, well. uh -huh. so another diagnostic characteristic, those are both gold colored minerals, but what are the streaks on each one? Black. Kind of a dark streak. So you define a streak by whatever the color of the, the powder that rubs off you know, of the mineral. And then you said this one you thought looked like a turtle. Yes. It's actually a native metal. It's what pennies are made out of, which is what? Copper. There you go. What color do you think copper would be? <laughs> Give it a shot. I think you're right. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh. Ouch. It made a really interesting sound. Um, maybe we ought not use copper in our lab. Yeah. But it made a... Did it make a copper color? Yeah. yeah okay, it so it did make a copper color, but it made a really horrible sound. So, um, at any rate, I think we've got a good idea what streak is. You think you can um, manage streak when you uh, do the lab? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And do you think it's going to help you identify minerals? Yeah. Yes. Probably especially the ones that have what, like these, which were what? A different color. A different color, but a different strength. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I'm excited to see how this turns out when you leave in the class. Thank you for coming and helping us. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh,